for self-driving cars, we're going to see some revolutionary、uh, progress. I feel I'm fortunate to be involved in this、uh, technological development, and、uh, I'm also fortunate to be here. This is the right place to develop this technology and make it commercially available and benefit the society. The IAM is a consortium, a public-private partnership. That part of this collaboration is really coming together in order to help prepare the state and the region and our communities around preparing for advanced mobility. Some of the things that we're seeing on the streets today: self-driving cars. What we're trying to work on today around connected vehicles as well. Arizona is、uh, the first state that has an executive order in place to support testing. And deployment of self-driving cars on public roads, and we also have very good、uh, infrastructure: flat, well-maintained roads, highways, clear traffic signs. Plus, we have good weather, year-round sunny days. On top of that, we have、uh, large universities around. ASU has the largest engineering school in the nation, providing the talent pool that can contribute to the advancement of this technology. We've got three areas that we focus on in our work. One is really trying to understand what data matters when you're evaluating the performance, operations of self-driving vehicles. We are trying to develop a comprehensive framework for testing and evaluating、uh, AV safety. Simply speaking, we're trying to design a driver test for driverless vehicles. So far, we have developed various tools、um, involving digital twin, augmented reality technologies.、Uh, we're trying to leverage those, those tools to do a pilot study, test out on our research vehicle first.、Um, then, hopefully, in the future, our study and experience can be adopted into、uh, AV regulation legislation, those kind of things. A lot of these vehicles rely. For perception reasons, around lidar and radar, and so we're trying to understand how we can utilize that type of technology on our infrastructure to be able to get better sense of what's happening on our roadways and hopefully improve、um, safety and mobility. IAM has been an excellent partner.、Uh, we help support their programs.、Uh, they're able to utilize our infrastructure as an IOO or an infrastructure owner operator. We're able to provide them access to some of our critical infrastructure on the street to get some real-world experience with testing out these technologies. So it's not just in the lab; there's actually real-world experience. So it benefits both of us. Finally, the last area is around connectivity, and this is really exciting. This is a space around being able to connect with the driving public and even what they call vulnerable road users, pedestrians, bicyclists, scooters, and give them the kind of alerts and warnings around impending challenges or issues occurring on the roads. We're taking、uh, a proof of concept that was done by ADOT and MAG and Verizon called Back of Q Warning, and we're going to implement that so that it can be done at scale. And then we're doing work zone warning. So if you're driving up, approaching a work zone, you'll get some information: the right lane is closed ahead, move over, right? And then we're doing transit signal priority, and then we're doing.、Uh, Vulnerable road user warnings. So the city of Phoenix has a project where they're using some detection technology that will identify bicycles and pedestrians and send a message. And so we'll send the message through the cell phone to drivers that are approaching that area that there's a, a bicycle ahead or a pedestrian in the crosswalk. Obviously, our primary goal is to improve the safety of the traveling public, and that's for all roadway users. When you have connected vehicle technology. And you have the infrastructure talking to the users, whether they're on a bike or in a vehicle, and you can coordinate their operations better, make each other aware of the decisions that are being made on both ends, and make sure that those decisions are being handled safely and efficiently. Everybody benefits. When we prove that we can do this, then we want to go to the next stage, which is stage two, and that's to deploy at scale. And the way to do that is not to develop a custom app. But to to work with companies like Waze and Apple and others that have the navigation systems, and so it'll be more integrated into the natural environment, and that makes me really excited that we can get good information to drivers about road conditions in real time. 
We lose 100 people a day in the United States and the number's higher globally um, for people that are injured or killed on the roadways. And every little bit that we can do to, to make those safer, you just can't help but be excited about that.